Our goal at Circuit Board Medics is to simplify the process of component removal and reinstallation for our customers. Therefore, we have created this video showing the removal of the instrument cluster from a 2005 to 2007 Ford Super Duty. The instrument cluster in these vehicles commonly has problems with the needles sticking and giving inaccurate readings or stopping altogether. For this removal, you will need a ratchet with a 9/32 socket and a small extension. In order to access the instrument cluster, we will first need to remove the entire front trim piece of the dash. First, engage the parking brake. Then, turn the ignition on, depress the brake pedal, and move the gear shifter to the lowest position. Then, lower the steering wheel to its lowest position also. This will allow for clearance of the dash later. Begin removing the trim by working your fingers into the seam and gently pulling outward. Gradually work your way around until you have the whole trim piece loose. If you wish to remove the trim piece completely, you would need to disconnect all the wires at this point, but for this video we have chosen to leave them in place to speed up the process. Now we will be using our 932nd socket with an extension to detach the gauge cluster. There are four screws holding the unit in, one on each corner. Next, lift the cluster out until you can access the two connectors at the top. These connectors can be somewhat difficult to remove. First, press down with your right hand, then with your left hand slide the lever to the right as shown here. Although the second connector is difficult to see, it is the reverse of the first one we disconnected. You will press down with your left hand and then slide the lever to the left. Lift the cluster up to access the gear indicator at the bottom. There are two gray tabs that hold it in place. Squeeze them together and gently pull the gear indicator out. Remove the instrument cluster from the dash. Now your cluster is ready to send to Circuit Board Medics for repair. Please call us or visit our website to place your repair order or if you have any other questions.